I love Spider-Man. Something you wouldn't know if you watch any of my videos, but you would definitely know if you know me personally, is that I love Spider-Man. I know I usually talk about anime on this channel, but since No Way Home is releasing in two weeks, and also it's my birthday today, hey, happy birthday me! I decided to treat myself and make a video about one of my, if not the favorite character in all of fiction. A man with a lot of power and even more responsibility. I can't express just how big of an influence Spider-Man had on my life. I'm not joking that my earliest memory is my father pulling up to me and putting in the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man film into a VHS player and my mom being like, is it okay if he watches that? And my dad answering, eh, he'll be fine. And now look how I turned out. You be the judge of who was right. By the way, that was before Spider-Man 2 even came out, so I had to be between 1 and 3 years old at that point. After that, I watched that movie religiously. I watched it so much that when Spider-Man 2 eventually came out on home release, I immediately recognized it. Now, mind you, I was 3 and couldn't read, but I saw a VHS tape of Spider-Man and I watched the original so many times and have seen that VHS that I just knew this one was the second one. And I told my mom, hey mom, look, it's Spider-Man 2. And she was like, no, nah, you waste of space, that's just Spider-Man 1. And I answered, no, nah, no, nah, buy it, please, please, please. So she did. And not gonna lie, I was half bullshitting. I wanted the Spider-Man VHS to own and not to constantly rent. But let me tell you, when I came home and I put in that VHS, my mind was blown. I was right. The visuals were different. The title sequence wasn't in blue. It was in red. This wasn't Spider-Man 1. This was Spider-Man 2. And yes, I still have that VHS that my mom bought me 17 years ago. Man, how the time flies. Ah! I hope you got the sense of how long I've enjoyed Spider-Man media for. I can honestly say that I actually learned a lot from the character of Spider-Man. But before we get to that, I would like to quickly go through my favorite Spider-Man things from every media category, I guess. So first off, my favorite Spider-Man movie is Spider-Man 1, followed really closely by Spider-Man 2 and then Spider-Verse. From there you can conclude that my favorite live-action Spider-Man is the bully himself, Tobey Maguire. Now honestly, the reason why Spider-Man 1 is about Spider-Man 2 is purely because of nostalgia. Like I said, I legitimately grew up with that film, but looking at it objectively, Spider-Man 2 is better. But personally, I prefer Spider-Man 1. <sighs> My favorite animated series is of course the Spectacular Spider-Man, followed by the 90s animated series and then the MTV New Animated Series. My favorite Spider-Man video game is the recent one, Spider-Man PS4, followed by Ultimate Spider-Man and by a PS2 classic, Spider-Man 3. Now that's purely because of nostalgia, I played Spider-Man 3 for the PS4 before playing Spider-Man 2. Please don't cancel me. Oh, by the way, the first game I ever see be played is Ultimate Spider-Man on the PS2 in my friend's house during a birthday party or something. Now honestly, this could or couldn't be true, I don't remember this part all too well. I know the first game I myself played was Prince of Persia The Warrior Within though. And finally, my favorite Spider-Man comic series is Ultimate Spider-Man, followed by, well, whatever else. Most Spidey runs are pretty cool and there are a lot of them. And Ultimate Spider-Man was, guess again, the first comic book I ever bought and read. I was yet even to go to school and by read I meant look at the pretty pictures. By the way, while I was looking for my Spider-Man 2 VHS, I also found this Spider-Man pinball game and Spider-Man operation board game, which I completely forgot I had, but that also brought back so many memories. And before you ask, no, Spider-Man operation wasn't my first board game ever, but Spider-Man pinball was my first pinball game ever though. You can see that a lot of my first time exposures to certain media was through Spider-Man related things. Now you could argue that the reason why I love Spider-Man so much is because he was with me since literally as far back as I can remember. 
and while that did play a part in it, of course, I still think that I would love this character so much, even if I discovered him at any other part of my life. I think the reason why I and millions of other people all across the world love this character so much is because of his many, many layers of relatability. While Stan Lee and Steve Ditko were making the character of Spider-Man, they purposely covered him up completely from head to toe, with the reason being that anybody could be Spider-Man. He shouldn't be defined by race, gender, nationality or anything else. He's supposed to be your everyday person with his own struggles and problems. And that aspect of the character is what I love so much. If you take a look at every one of my top Spider-Man media, you can see a common theme. The theme of struggle. Spider-Man is at his best when life keeps kicking his ass. There's a quote from Spider-Man Blue I think perfectly portrays this. You see, I've come to believe that things have to get really, really bad before they can get good. Not even really, really good. Although I wouldn't mind some of that. Spider-Man will always have problems, and those problems aren't always the same. The most famous iteration of Spider-Man is Peter Parker, so most people know the struggles he goes through, but those problems aren't the same for everybody else. Peter, Miles, Gwen and every other person who donned the Spider-Man mask each had their own personal struggles. They vary from grappling with a huge weight of responsibility to trying to find your own worth and place into the world, to trying to find your own identity and living by it. And that all hits so close to home. Spider-Men are your everyday people, and while some versions in the vast Spider-Verse may be rich and powerful, even they have their own personal struggles. But one common thing across all of them is overcoming those struggles. To not let life keep you down, but to keep going and try and being the very best version of yourself. Yes, life can suck and life will suck. You will want to give up, but you shouldn't. In times of distress, you need to pick yourself back up and continue advancing, because that is the only way you can move forward. Otherwise, you'll remain in the same dark space and continue going downward while you are supposed to go up. Spider-Man is a character who can never catch a break, but nonetheless he keeps going. He keeps fighting. For himself and even more so for others. When you can do good things for others, but you don't, and then the bad things happen, they happen because of you. Since if you could do good things for other people, you had a moral obligation to do those things. Because with great power comes great responsibility. We all have this spark inside us and it's amazing. And whatever you decide to do with it, you will be amazing. All that and even more is what Spider-Man taught me. And that is exactly why I love Spider-Man. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer them, scream their names, and years later they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught him to hold on a second longer. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble and finally allows us to die with pride even though sometimes we have to be steady and, and give up the thing we want the most even our dreams Whew, well i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was on a completely different topic than my usual topics but i gave it my all to well, basically pour my heart into it. I hope you liked it. Please tell me what you think about it. Um, and yeah, as always, I have to thank my Patreon. Special shout out to Ranchman. Um, if you want to support me on Patreon, the link is down in the description. It really, really helps a lot. And yeah, uh, are you excited for Spider-Man No Way Home? Do you in generally, in general? Do you in general like Spider-Man or do you hate him? Like, leave your, as always, thoughts in the comments down below and... Uh, and yeah, in the end, all I can really say is thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in another one. Stay strong, guys.